on YouTube to do a sports, to do the big team. Sports fans who let Pox sports. Raw and SmackDown's best of the week. What was it? Well, the first matchup well, it was a kind of a tie. It was Matt Hardy and uh, Bray Wyatt against Titan Worldwide. And I thought this was, well, one of the best matches that I saw for Raw and SmackDown. The best of the week. The best of the week. And, well, and Daniel Bryan's. And Mr. AJ Style, but the match got broke up by Nakahara, or whatever the guy that gave him the BAM low blow, and I'm like, what the heck, dude? You, you had a great match with him at WrestleMania, and you give him a low blow. And the surprise, the, the, the shocking thing that happened, Bobby Lashley came back. I can't believe it. Bobby Lashley comes in there, and he's just takes out whoever's in the ring. I think this might be a good thing that Bobby Lashley's back because he was one of the coolest... I always thought he was on steroids, but by what he looks like, why, why wouldn't he have any doubts if he was on steroids? And Cameron, another shocking thing, wins the women's title after she... After Charlotte Flair gets attacked by two new Australian girls that attack her. I, this is really getting tired. Why every time somebody gets attacked, it's like, oh, I got that great idea. Let's go. I'm going to go. <laughs> and they got the money in the bank and they're like, come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. I won the championship. I won the championship. Nope, not really. You uh, just kind of cashed in on Charlotte Flair uh, being beat up. But anyway, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt and Titus Worldwide was a great matchup. There's two interesting, well, Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. And why didn't I say Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy with uh, The Miz? Well, I put Miz as the best smack talker of the week. And Daniel Bryant's. And AJ Stops. So, why were they the best matches of the week? Because they had the best moves. They had the best kind of, of action that you're you're watching and you're watching and that's what I really look for in a matchup if the matchup keeps you interested and you're watching it and you're watching it and you're not like fiddling with your phone or you're playing one of your handheld devices or something then it's a grab attention kind of matchup and it, it was just a tie it, it was just a tie how, how, how more can I say it was a but Hey, maybe sometimes there'll be ties, and sometimes there'll be one matchup that stands out as the best matchup. Miz comes out as, as the best smack talker of the week because he said, You round everything! You round everything! My little daughter was watching the match. My wife was watching the match. And then you had my daughter cry because I lost... What if it makes me feel like I've been my rematch cause? And, and then Randy Warren's like, right, what about right now? What, what about right now? Ow, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, no, not right now. And then it was scheduled as a three-man tag match with Jeff Hardy. And it, Mrs. Goons are the Mizettes or whatever he calls his group. His groupies are... And it was... Hey, it was a great way to end Raw, but it wasn't the best matchup of the week. And I think Charlotte Flair is going to get her championship back in a rematch against Carmen, so that would be interesting. We have Undertaker and going to become in a casket match, casket match with Chris Jericho. So that's going to be the pay-per-view exclusively 
on the WWE Network, the Royal Rumble Worldwide thing, whatever it's called, but Paige, and I don't have this in my notes, but Paige retired from wrestling, and then on SmackDown, here comes Shane O'Mac. And he's like, our new general manager, Paige. And she's like, hmm, you know, wonder what kind of matchup I should have. Hmm. How about Daniel Bryan's? Um, and AJ Styles. And I, I'm thinking in my head, that's a great matchup. Why did I ever think of a matchup like that? These two great athletes. I wish they could have finished the matchup and not been interrupted. But maybe we're going to have a triple threat match for the WWE Championship at Backlash. And that would be awesome. And that would be incredible. Two great, not just great, awesome, incredible athletes in the WWE. So... The matchup was good while it lasted. AJ Styles was just as credible as awesome. Daniel Bryan looks like he hasn't lost a beat since he, um, I think it was maybe four years that he retired. And I'm really, was really wrong about two things. Some other notes about Russell May. Two, two big notes about Undertaker. He's at top of his game still. And Daniel Bryan is still, is still one of the best athletes. And all I have to say, all I have to say it, about Undertaker is rest in peace. I can't do the live thing, but you know what I'm talking about. And Daniel Bryan, yes, 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 yes. yes. So... Best of the week, that's what I thought about what was great at Raw and SmackDown, and I'll see you guys next week for the best of the week of Raw and SmackDown. And as always, awesome, radical, Calabanca dude. Thank you for watching YouTube videos. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell, and I'll see you next time for some more. Over.